My name is Bill Vinci. I grew up in a family-owned restaurant. My grandparents came over from Italy and opened up Vinci's Restaurant here in Rome, New York. Me and my son decided to give back to the family-owned businesses and start a show called The Empire Plate. We are searching for the best food and beverage in the state of New York. And this is where the journey begins. Enjoy the ride. Yes, absolutely. It's been great. How was your drive? Drive was great. You're good? Beautiful day out. Couldn't wait to get down here. Fantastic. So, we're going to go with some muffins. We're going to have some, some muffins, muffins, some coffee. All right, so why don't you do this? Why don't you relax? Enjoy the sun. Okay. The we got it. We're going to hit the kitchen. That'll work. some stuff ready for you. And then, uh, whatever you want, just come in. That's good. Let's go All right. We'll All right, be right, in I'll a few minutes. See, I'll see you Okay, thank right, okay. you. Welcome back to the Empire Plate. Today we are in Brooklyn, New York at a place called the Tuscan Gun. Special edition today, beautiful day, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, you hit. we're on the road for about five hours today. There's not enough coffee in the world. Right? Absolutely. They hooked us up with some coffee and muffins to start, but you know what we actually came down here for? To meet him, try his food, awesome menu inside. So uh, I'm ready to go inside right after we finish this coffee. Let's do this. And we'll go inside and we'll see what they got planned for us today. So, porchetta sandwich is traditionally one of those items that you find at the Italian cafe, okay? So, soccer, match, concerts, you get into the parking lot, you find these massive trucks with a big spear. They do the whole port, slow cook, all for about six to eight hours, depending on the time, depending on the, the usage that we have to make of the oven. But we like to cook it and baste it in IPA beer, and uh, we cook it until the meat is uh, shred -worthy. Smell something, something good. Ah, smell something. I was making a you, quick snack. You're man. already cooking back there, I always, see. Always, always, man. All right, look at that. This is our porchetta sandwich. Oh, Small cooked pork, cooked in IPA beer to get a little bitterness and hoppiness. Kind of like reminds me of the flavor of the fireplace. We don't cook with wood here. Then we have uh, Small cooked peppers and a touch of like fresh greens. You know, mommy wants you to have some fresh yeah, greens. Yeah, so something healthy. You're indulging in, you know, and actually when I have the sandwich, I drink oh. wine or beer. This okay. is not a sandwich that goes with soda. Right, like, right. No. So, would you like something to drink or you're okay for I'm going to just die. You, you draw, man. You, you have to drive back. So five hours. Five hours. Five hours. Five hours. What do you think? Oh well, I'll let you swallow your first bite. <laughs> There is so much flavor. Oh my God, you get everything. You get to taste everything. And it's very yeah. simple, you know. It is simple. So this is a uh, Montejovi. It's kind of like rich in kill if we a little too much. But the story of this sandwich is uh, I used to run uh, off road motorcycles when I grew up in Tuscany. And we always run, you know, during the weekend up on top of the mountains. We would carry cheese sandwiches in our backpack. And then my dad would light a fire on top of the mountain. It would be me, my dad, and my brother. You know, we were like in our early teens. And we'd just find whatever piece of metal, scraps to melt our cheeses on the fire. And then we just 
keep on rolling with our two stores in between the mountains. Very cool. We will carry a bottle of wine mm -hmm. so you can drive. Uh, you can you can drink and drive in the woods. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, we're so we're say, yeah. you catch your three. It's on you. You know what I mean? It's like it's not like a pedestrian. So that was a lot of fun. Enjoy. Let it cool off because it's kind of like one of those tricky things that it gets cool on the outside and then you scorch your tongue when you like bite it. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So allow yourself uh, like a meal. Good. All right. Right. It's so simple, but all that flavor is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it was me That's yeah. 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 Bill, first time here at the Tuscan Gun? What did you think? Outstanding. I mean, it's just it's very simple food. It's not pretentious. It's just, and it takes, they take the ingredients and just, they don't do too much to it. They let it, it's really high quality stuff. When you can only get a few things on there, you want everything to kind of stand out. And it does. And it's just really good, and it's just a nice, quiet, beautiful little neighborhood to come here. It seems like it's, like it's a it's a good fit for the neighborhood, and the food is great. So. So. This place, the Tuscan Gun, mm -hmm. how, how did this all come about? Oh my gosh. So we came up with our first book a couple of years ago, you know, telling the success of the TV show. Yeah, we're just having a lot of fun yeah. and making sure that we keep the neighborhood the right way. Right. You know, stay true to, you know, the heritage of the recipes that I know and part life. Respect for the ingredient and the, uh, also for the customer, you know, I do not believe in the neighbors. That's why we are not open uh, at night, we're only open at night. This is, this is, Absolutely. Your your entire your your grandmother, your family. This is kind of kind of comfort yes, for you yes. guys. And that is kind of kind of like I would say I wouldn't call it my mission because my mission is to you know protect and raise my family first and, and, and above all. But when it comes to food and business, uh, it, it pisses me tremendously the fact that a lot of companies, a lot of establishments are. Using uh, words like Italian food, Tuscan food, to mm -hmm. sell an experience that is absolutely not true or, or relevant. It is just a misconception that is uh, tailored just to generate sales. And that makes me mad because ultimately, who pays the price for that? It is the people. You know, one of the good things that we do with our dealers that makes me really proud is the fact that by knowing how many guests I have coming every evening, I would do a waste. I will toss a half funny. If I have a half funny, I'll make a profit. Well, I'll bring it home. Right, so I right. Leave it in the neighborhood. Yep. So the only waste that we might have is that, you know, it's a big menu, and sometimes the skinny girl is not able to go through the seven courses or the five courses we have. No offense taken, at least she'll be able to taste something, you know, of everything. Right. But those, again, are more events at dinners. You know, sure. they're like three hours long. I introduce all the dishes, I take pictures, we, we do autographs. And we have a, you know, a small private party. You know, my room seats 23 people, no more, so. It's perfect. Though. It is. A, it, it's it's know, perfect. It's like almost get, like a supper club. You get to meet your your customers and you can greet them and, and you get to know them. It's more like a, you feel comfortable when you walk in the place. I, I honestly believe that the stories that go along with my recipes are half important. That's, that's, that is, uh, yeah. you know, I have worked in restaurants, I have been in kitchens, and uh, it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like, cooks are nuts. Uh, it's really like being in, in rock and roll bands. You know, there's uh, use and abuse and fun and uh, politically uncor uncorrect jokes, one after the next, uh, you know, people smacking your ass, calling you names, uh, <laughs> but you don't get to Yeah, that's, that's and, uh, If I get to spend hours cooking, I want to see your damn face smiling when I'm feeding you, man. Right? Otherwise, my, my joy makes no sense. It's nice to hear the customers say, actually tell you cooking it, this is great. Yeah. I love it. To see you actually put the stuff together, I mean, it, it's just like I watch on TV. Yeah. You're not different than you are on TV. I feel very comfortable, and, and this is a great experience for us. Thank you. Thank we you so had an awesome time. I, I kind of wish that we could bring you up to central New York, back where I am, and, and I kind of do something. I have to jump something. on a motorcycle and come up there. You have to do that. Yeah. We'll we'll have do that. to wait for spring now. You have to wait for spring, spring now. Winter's <laughs> right around the corner. But yeah, I want to make sure that you come up, 
Maybe next summer sometime when you got some free time, come up to yeah, upstate or maybe New York. I'll drag the whole family for a Absolutely. weekend. Absolutely, you know, come up, come up and, and, and we'll, we'll show you some of the flavors we got in central Absolutely. New York. Sound Man, good? Thank Absolutely. You so much for Absolutely. Coming. Absolutely. We had a All great the time. Best New York. Yes. Thank you guys. I hope to see you here. And if not, I'll come up there and just enjoy good food. Cook for your kids. Smack them in the head when they misbehave, but feed them right. You heard okay? it. Awesome. Thank you. Time, time. <laughs>